Welcome back to another NBA playoff recap video. Only two games tonight, but one of the games was a big surprise and ended up being a great one. The Miami Heat were coming into this game as 15 point underdogs in Boston. Obviously, no Jimmy Butler facing this historically great Boston Celtics team, especially on their home court at TD Garden. But the Heat just did Heat things, and Eric Spolstra, he always makes some of the best adjustments. They also made 23 three points. Caleb Martin, he killed them last year in the Eastern Conference Finals. He made five tonight. Tyler Hero, he had a big game with 24 points, but also 14 assists. And then Bam Adebayo, 21 points and 10 boards. And a lot of those points were big ones down the stretch in the fourth quarter. So what an upset win for Miami as they steal home court advantage. And Jimmy Butler, being the troll he is, posted this on his Instagram, kind of mocking Jalen Brown, a quote he had last year before. The Celtics lost to them in the Eastern Conference Finals, but he put his face on top of it. The Celtics are still over overwhelming favorites at minus 2,500. It's shorter than what they opened at to win this series originally because Miami now steals home court advantage, but they're still going to be big favorites in every game remaining, and it would still be a massive shock if the Heat even made this a close series. Shea Gilgis Alexander and the Thunder, they came out ready to play. It was a little too close for their hoping. The game won the series, but this game, SGA had 33 points, showing why he's an MVP contender and finalist this year and Chet Holmgren had 15 points in the first quarter he had a career high 20 points in the first half and finished with 26 Aaron Wiggins is dropping the defender J Dub he had 21 as well so OKC maybe they were just getting the first game jitters out of the way game one but now they are settling in and they win this one by 32 points so they look ready to go and they look primed to blow past this New Orleans Pelicans team as far as as the Pacers and Bucks series, Bobby Portis, after the Pacers won last night, called the Pacers front runners. He said, when the Pacers are beating you, they're going to be clapping, they're going to be talking and all that, but then when it's going poorly, like in game one, they're not saying anything, so this will be interesting to follow as the series goes on. Anthony Davis, after allowing the Nuggets to come back from that 20-point deficit capped off by Jamal Murray's game winner, he was frustrated post-game. He said, we have stretches where we don't know what we're doing on both ends of the floor. Obviously, that can reflect poorly on the coaching staff if you say that. And Darvin Ham responded today. He first said the Lakers coaching staff prides itself on being highly efficient and organized. So he couldn't be happy to hear that from AD, his star player. And he said, I just chalk that up to being frustrated. It's an emotional game, but I'll agree to disagree on that one. So with AD saying stuff like, we don't know what we're doing on both ends of the ball sometimes. And then Darvin Ham saying he'll agree to disagree disagree in the middle of the playoff series when you're trying to be on your player sides and have their back could there be a little beefing between these two going on we've seen some stuff in season as well there's questions how much lakers players buy into darvin ham let me know your thoughts subscribe if you like these videos